All right. So I'll just switch over. We're going to uh, start talking a bit about what you actually get when you download OpenPython or when you clone it from GitHub. And we'll also uh, get you started with setting up the virtual machine um, so that you can actually get testing things out. If you're interested in OpenPython, you're probably going to want to know what you should download, where it is, um, how to get hold of things. Um, everything that you want to grab is available from openpython.org. Um, you can go to our downloads page. You can get RTL. You can get the scripts, documentation. Um, the FPGA disk images and FPGA bit files, they're all available from openpython.org. And um, if you prefer to work with Git, then you can grab um, from the OpenPython GitHub here. Uh, I think you don't want the .git at the end, but that's fine. Um, and if you want to look at the Ariane core directly and you want to make kind of issues against Ariane, then you can go to the Ariane GitHub. And likewise, if you want to build your own kernel, uh, run Linux, make changes, um, then you can do that using the Ariane SDK as well. As Dave mentioned, these slides are all going to be online afterwards. Um, about the environment setup, so we have run on primarily Red Hat 6 and 7. Um, and we know that those work, but we've also tested on Ubuntu. We know that recent Ubuntu versions work. Uh, we've tried on Arch Linux, it worked there. Um, and you can even run on Mac, we believe. I run it on my own Mac. Um, so if you want to use Verilator or Icarus Verilog, they should work. Um, in terms of simulation, you can see kind of the versions of the tools here that you want to grab. In general, newer versions tend to be better. Uh, there can be kind of bugs with parsing a Verilog or system Verilog and older versions that don't tend to get fixed uh, very promptly. Um, and for Vivado, if you're using Ariane, you'll want to use 2018.2 or newer. That's just because some of the system Verilog features weren't supported in Vivado until recently. Um, so when you download the code, um, there are a few things you want to do. So the first thing you want to do is source any of the required scripts that come with VCS or come with Vivado. Um, so that you have the other environments set up in advance. And once that's all set up and the right things are in your path, then you will set up our environment. Um, to do that, you want to set the Python root environment variable. This should point to the root of the downloaded code or the cloned code. Um, and then we have a couple of setup scripts for you to run. So one of these is Ariane setup.sh. That script um, runs in Bash, and it will set kind of appropriate environment variables. And so in the virtual machines that we're giving out today, um, the script has already been sourced for you, I believe. And the other script is Ariane build tools. And so that's going to build you the RISC-V cross compiler. It's going to build all of the uh, assembly and C tests that you need. And it's going to set up other things like Verilator and so on um, if you set the right flags in the build script. So if you've got VirtualBox installed already, you can just use the import screen. Um, you can use the import screen to grab your the OVA file that's on the USB. Um, you might want to copy off the USB first. Um, and the second screen that you'll see, you'll just kind of hit the import button. So it's fairly straightforward uh, to do this import. OK, so have people got to the point to import? Um, really, it's quite straightforward. You're just going to hit the import button here. You're going to select which file it is. It's the OVA file. Um, and then on the next screen, you'll hit import. And that should just pull it in. Yep, so if you've got your virtual machine started, then you can enter our highly secure credentials to log in. Um, and there's a terminal on the desktop that you can open up. Um, and you'll want to go into the Python root directory and source the Ariane setup script as shown here. Once you've got your terminal open, you're going to want to go into the Python root uh, directory and source the Python root slash Python slash Ariane setup .sh script. Um, and what this is going to do is set up the correct paths for you to do the simulations, um, for you to do FPGA synthesis, and so on um, in, in the shell that you've got running. So each time you want to run, you'll want to um, set your uh, resources script um, in any terminal that you're running in. Um, that way, we're not polluting your path with you know, all of the kind of binaries for OpenPython or scripts for OpenPython. Um, so the next thing is to tell you where things actually live in the, in the download. Um, so if you're in the Python re root directory um, that I pointed to, uh, there are three subdirectories. So one of these is called Python. 
um, and it's alias to the DV root environment variable. Um, and it has all of the RTL tools and assembly tests are in subdirectories down the tree. There is a build subdirectory, and the build subdirectory is primarily for temporary build files. So if you're on the FPGA floor, you're running simulations, things will be built in there, and we recommend running our scripts from inside the build directory so that you don't kind of create any files in your local directories. Um, and then we also have a docs folder. Um, there should be kind of documentation. Uh, if you want the newest version of the documentation, you can grab that from openpiton.org, and that's what we would recommend to do to make sure you're always up to date. Now, in that Python subdirectory, um, there are three more levels of the hierarchy. Um, the first one is the design folder. And in the design, this is the top level of the RTL module tree. Um, so this is where kind of the full system lives, if you look in the RTL directory. And the structure from there down is going to follow the Verilog module hierarchy broadly. Um, so if you're looking for something, like if you're looking for Ariane, Ariane is inside the tile, which is inside the chip, inside design. So you go Python design chip tile Ariane. Um, the next directory, subdirectory is the tools subdirectory. So our simulation scripts, our census scripts, FPGA tools, and so on, those all live under here. And so if you run which on kind of the sim script or on protosend and so on, then you will see that they're all under Python slash tools slash et cetera. Um, and then there's also the verif subdirectory. Verif contains verification related files. So it contains the assembly tests, C tests, and so on. Um, as well as the test benches for when you run simulations. So the synthesizable RTL lives under design, and the non-synthesizable RTL lives inside Verif. So if you specifically want to find some RTL, you can go to Python design, and then follow the module hierarchy, and then generally the RTL is under an RTL subdirectory. Um, if you want to find assembly tests, um, those are under Python Verif Diag assembly, um, and then we have module agnostic scripts for the backend and FPGA flows under Python tools. And for the module specific ones, those are under the correct uh, di subdirectory for the design that you're looking at. So if you, for example, want to look at the backend scripts for the tile, you can look in Python design chip tile synopsis script. Um, if you want to look in the chipsets, uh, Xilinx files, you can go to Python design chipset Xilinx to find those. So as David mentioned, there's a variety of things you can do with Open Python plus Ariane. Um, we provide tools and scripts for simulation, uh, for ASIC synthesis and backend, and for FPGA likewise. If you want to do validation, we provide a large test suite, particularly on the Spark side. There's thousands of tests that you can run um, in order to validate your design when you make any changes. If you add new components, you want to verify they didn't break anything. Um, it's pretty important. Um, there's a lot of configuration options. Um, and Yurios is going to talk about those uh, in about uh, 10, 15 minutes. And then there's also OS development. So you can kind of go and take the Ariane SDK and modify the Linux kernel um, and make changes that way. In terms of documentation that we provide on openpiton.org, um, there are four main documents. Um, there's the microarchitecture specification, which is mainly about the uncore, so the things that are not kind of the spark of the Ariane core. You want to know about the caches. You want to know about the cache coherence protocol. You want to know about the networks. Um, all that stuff is in our microarchitecture specification. If you want to do simulations, there's a simulation manual, and it will explain how to use uh, our simulation infrastructure, as Paul will do in a moment, um, and how to add to that. Uh, there is a synthesis and backend manual. So if you want to learn about how to port OpenPython plus Ariane onto a new process technology, um, that will tell you how to do that, and you can make use of our census backend flows. Um, and we have quite a lot of people who have done that. So, so there's some questions that will also be answered in our Google group. And then we also have our FPGA prototype manual, which will tell you more about what's running on the FPGA. And that's something that Alexei will be explaining later on in the tutorial. So for now, I'm going to pass over to Paul, who's going to tell you um, how to get simulations running. And we're actually going to uh, get some running in the virtual machines that you have. 